So this is going to be a simple, quick guide on how to use the uvk 5 a Cool. Right. So first of all, you want to make sure that you're buying the right radio for where you are in the world. So silly, I'm from the United Kingdom. I've accidentally ordered one for European. Yeah. So just make sure you, you're doing the right thing there and you make sure that you're getting the one for your right region or you're going to get... Uh, the wrong plug and you're going to also get um, different weather channels and stuff like that and presets and the rest of it. So step one is make sure that you're buying the version for your region. Okay. Step two is using the function button. Cool. So the function button is the F on the keypad. So think of this button as your function button, your feature button, your shortcut button, everything that you're going to be Referring to these words, band, A, M, A, B, V, F, O, F, C, N, O. You're going to be using these by pressing F, then the number, F, then the number, F, then the number, yeah? Cool. So obviously you can use your keypad for one, two, three when you're typing in your frequency. But if you want to be using these um, options, you're going to be using your feature key. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change bands. So when I say change bands... Bands are, I I would say that they're from different types of frequencies that you could reach. So I'm guessing that the UVK 5A, that can reach up to, say, 400, 500 frequency hertz. So with F1, we're going to be changing the band. So can you see here that we're in band 1, yeah, F1, we're in 55. So 55... I believe uh, that would be just kind of your standard. Then if I press F1, I'm going to change to 108 frequencies. And can you see that that AM picture just appeared there, that AM? That means that I'm in air band, air band for AM. If I press F1 again, that's going to take me to 145 hertz, yeah? That's going to be marine band. So depending on what you want into listening to or listen to, that's where you're going to be finding your band. So press F1 again. That's going to go to 245. F1 again. That's going to go up to 350. F1 again to 435. F1 again to 490. I think i go back to 55. Okay, so if you want to remember that 108 is air band and so on and 145 is marine band and so on so we keep it really simple today cool so the second thing i wanted to show you is changing channels so with the f button we're going to be changing channels and what do you mean by channels so this is a dual band radio which means that it's got a dual banded channel cool so we've got our first channel and our second channel so our top channel is frequency mode and our bottom channel is memory mode. And you can tell from the M and the F. So I'm going to be changing you how to switch. Cool. So Joe, you want to go from channel one to channel two. So what you're going to do is you're going to press F and we're not going to be doing the band. We're going to be doing number two. OK, then that will change down to channel two. F two goes back to frequency mode at two we're back in memory mode okay so we're going to stay in frequency mode which is that arrow is there pointing to frequency mode and this is where you can save channels and and where you can manually tune your specific frequency so if i i don't know say there's there's a, a local airport near me and i think they run on on 125 um giga uh, sorry frequency hertz so we're going to put in we're selected channel one f2 channel one and we're going to type one, one two, two five, five zero, zero 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 okay zero now we're in air band because that's the band that we're scanning and we're 125 hertz now you're wondering how would you scan for any any frequencies, any noises being transmitted, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to hold down the scan button. Scanning begin. And that's going to start scanning your band. So if there's any frequency, if there's any chatter on any of these um, frequencies, then you're going to be able to hear it. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. All the best, 7-3.